Drupal Lightning from Acquia enables developers to create great authoring experiences and empower editorial teams. Taking advantage of the new Drupal 8 functionality, Lightning is the new standard for enterprise authoring in Drupal, including layout, workflow, and media. And we're really excited to bring it to you today through these short tutorial videos. We all know that Drupal is great, but it has limitations out of the box. If you've been building sites in Drupal for any time, you already know this. The ability to manage your media, to build layouts on the fly, or even build layouts that editors can use, and to manage the workflow has always been difficult in Drupal. Well, not anymore, because that's what Lightning brings to the table. It brings those three elements, media management, layout management, and workflow management, in a more complete, feature-rich Drupal experience. In this set of videos, we're going to take a look at how Lightning manages your media, helps you build sophisticated layouts on the fly, and set them up so editors can either use them or edit them themselves, as well as a comprehensive workflow management. Lightning is intended for developers and advanced site builders. It allows you to build a robust Drupal 8 site that an editor can then use with confidence and ease, knowing that their media management, layout management, and workflow management is handled really well. I'm over here at the Lightning site. That's lightning.aquia.com. Right here in the top right corner, you're going to see installation instructions. Let's take a quick peek at that. It takes us to the docs. By far the easiest way to get started with Lightning and to start to play with it and learn it is by using Acquia's dev desktop. Most of us who've been using Drupal for a while have used Acquia's dev desktop. The nice thing is the latest version comes with a Lightning distribution. Everything's set up ready to go for you to learn Lightning and begin to play with it. And that's what I'll be using today in this demonstration. You can also use Lightning on Acquia's cloud. So if you have an account there, you can grab Lightning and begin to learn it there. And of course, you can also host it on your own server. The instructions for all of these are here. You can just click through to see what might work best for you as you learn Lightning. Lightning also works with Composer. So if you are a Composer user, and obviously you'll need Composer and Node, you'll be able to follow these instructions and get Lightning set up completely for you. Just make sure to read through this page very carefully. Once again, I'll be using the distribution from Dev Desktop, and you'll see that Chaos Tools, all of the experimental core modules are installed but not turned on. Features is not turned on. But a number of modules are turned on, of course, and an inline entity form, entity embed, and then all of the various lightning modules that you'll need to play around and learn how this works. This is set up for you when you use Acquia's Dev Desktop. If you're going to use another installation method, then you'll need to make sure that all of these get turned on. I'm going to suggest at this point that a great way to figure all this out is indeed to use Acquia's Dev Desktop, at least the first time, so you know what modules need to be turned on, because as you can see, there's quite a few of them. The last thing I'll mention in this video is support and updates. Acquia continues to develop Lightning and send out updates on a regular basis, migrating to content moderation with Lightning, this was a big one, Lightning migration to core media that was released in Drupal 8.4. So you can see they're staying on top of it, and each of these blog posts gives detailed instructions as to what's going on. So keeping up to date with Lightning is really simple. Back here on the homepage, one last thing, updating Lightning is easy as well. All of the instructions are right here on the GitHub page, and so managing your Lightning installation is really for developers and advanced site builders at this point, not necessarily for editors. So in the next three videos, we're going to look at Lightning's media management, layout management, and workflow management.